many hours of the day do you enjoy your own life? Answer to yourself honestly. If it's less than 24, then allow yourself to want more. Hello dears, it's Katya and today I will tell you why it's so very important to allow yourself to do what you want and to allow yourself to want something. When we are raised as kids, we are often told by our parents, our teachers and everyone who is taller than us what we should be doing and how we should be doing this. But there is a point in our life when it's up to us to decide what kind of experience we accept into ourselves and what kind of experience we let go. Because falling in love with yourself means allowing yourself to want what your soul, what your inner self really wants. Little steps, step by step, you can start allowing yourself more and living a more fulfilling life. Tip 1. Ask yourself as often as possible, what do I want right now? Okay, if you want to go for a big vacation, it may not be possible at the moment, but if you just want to eat an apple, then it's the first step to giving yourself what you want. And the more often you ask yourself this question, the sooner you will see the result of your brain rewiring itself into allowing itself to want more. Get rid of things that you dislike, that bring about bad memories or things that you simply don't enjoy. Pull out all of your clothes and use the good old Mary Kondo method of picking up one by one and then seeing if it sparks a joy in you, then you keep it. If it doesn't spark any joy in you, then you toss it. Say yes to new experiences and to things that bring you pleasure. You may be busy at work, you may be busy helping someone, but remember about yourself. You are the only person you will spend the rest of your life with and your body, it's not eternal, so you better take care of it. It can be a massage, a yoga class, or simply just laying on your couch and relaxing or taking a nap in the middle of the day. Remember, you are the only person responsible of taking care of yourself. Learn to say no. When there is something someone asks you and you're about to rush and go help this person, just stop there for a moment and mindfully think about your resources that you will spend on doing something for someone else. Remember, you are the priority in your life. First you take care of yourself and then the energy that is left you use to take care of others. So if you have to say no and someone else will be disappointed or angry or mad at you, it's okay because you are the person who is taking decisions on how to use your energy, how to spend your time. Meditation. It helped me distance myself a little bit from life and kind of like be the observer and observe my thoughts, observe my words, observe my actions. The practice of meditation that we do with our eyes closed on a meditation cushion or on the couch is simply practicing on how to observing everything in life, reflecting on it and making good decisions. If you meditate but you don't put this practice into your life, into mindful living, you're simply wasting your time. And it's a beautiful practice to just enjoy being on your own. One of the things that helped me understand what I want is making a wish list. And this is where I write down all the experiences and things that I wish for. Watch my video about the bucket list in the link below. Spend time in nature. Nature really heals. I live in the countryside right now, so it's very easy for me to say. I go outside of the house and there's nature right away. But I have to tell you that I am relaxed all the time. And just being surrounded by nature makes me a whole different, very happy kind of person. And loving this nature around me makes me love myself more. I just really recommend you to get like some kind of hobby that reconnects you with nature and do it because it's very, very rewarding. But remember, only if you enjoy it. And then, of course, there are days when you wake up and you don't want anything and everything is just so sad and depressing and disappointing and you don't know where to start. It's okay. All of us are humans. All of us have no idea what we are doing. Some people just look more confident than others. Just take care of yourself. Get yourself a cup of tea. Warm yourself with a nice warm blanket. Give yourself a hug. As Mark Twain said, there are two most important days in your life. The day you were born and the day you realized why you were born. And in order to realize why you were born into this life, 
it's very important to build your own boundaries and to allow yourself to want. Because a human who wants something is a human who is alive. It's like a shiny, blooming, beautiful flower. Be the flower you want to be. And remember, only you decide how bright you shine.